Okay everyone, welcome to day five. Today we are doing a dynamic workout for our lower body. So get your shoes on, let's go. Okay, you should be familiar with the warm up by now. Let's do 30 seconds. Getting those knees up, opening up the hips. Let's bring that heart rate up. Focus on the breathing. Nice big breaths in. Lots of oxygen in the lungs. That's 30 seconds. Now we're going to bring that knee across to the opposite elbow. Loose, those joints are nice and loose. And move the body through various ranges of motion today. Ten more seconds here. Okay, should have those hips, knees, and ankles all loosened up. Let's get started. Okay, so each exercise that we're going to do today. We're going to do 15 repetitions, each one. The first one we're going to do are hop squats. Not jump squats, we're not jumping as high as we can. We're just going to do a squat, and then when we come up from our squat, just a light hop. So picture your feet coming off the ground by about an inch, that's about it. So we're going to do 15, I'll show you what one looks like first. So we're going to go nice and slow on the way down, and then from here, just a light hop. So you really want to focus, again, when you land, on using all those large muscle groups to absorb, and that way we get the most out of our muscles and save our joints. 15 reps. Ready? Here we go. Nice and low. Five more. That's 15 right there. So that little bit of an explosive movement through the hop should give you just a little bit more of a burn through your quads. Okay, so Marta is going to do a lateral or a sideways squat. And the direction in which she is squatting to the side means that that leg is going to do a lot more work. So she'll demonstrate one here, and we'll get you to do a few reps. And you can see that she's stepping towards that right leg, and her upper body ends up over top of that right leg meaning that leg is doing a lot more work. So, now that you know how to do that, let's do about 15 on each leg. We ready? Ready. Here we go. There's one. Two. Three. Four, good. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You can hear her breathing is nice and controlled, absorbing through that hip, driving through the quad. Almost there, a couple more. And that's fifteen. All right, let's do fifteen on the other leg. Towards the left leg, there's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. How's that left leg feel? Starting to burn? A little bit. Good. Four more. That's four, three, two. Nice job. And I've got those inner and outer thighs working too. Okay, lunges are a great exercise to work your legs. We did some stationary lunges on day one. Now we're going to do some reverse lunges. So, quite simply, 
One foot stays still while the other goes to the reverse, takes a step back, lunge down, back up, and forward. We're going to stay on the same leg each time, doing 15 reps, and then we're going to switch and do 15 reps on the other leg. The leg that stays still is the one that's going to be doing the work. So as I reverse and go down, it's all through that front leg that drives that up. Ready? We're going to do 15 repetitions. Here we go. Okay, and let's switch. Going back. There's one. Two. Three. Six. That was nice and tight. Five more to go. Okay, this exercise is a progression from the last one. So Marta is going to be doing a reverse lunge, but then that back leg is going to explode forward with that knee popping forward, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Might be easier for Marta to demonstrate. So that leg goes down, she goes down for a lunge, and when she comes back, exactly. And you can do that as slow and controlled or as quickly as you want, totally up to you nice and controlled or if she wants to do one more and really explode that knee forward just to give us an idea and pop that knee up just like that so we're gonna do 15 on either leg are we ready ready here we go one two so this is working a lot of those hip flexors in that right leg there's four five Six, seven, eight, nice breathing, nine, ten, go five more, almost there, five, four, three, two, nice job of switching at 15 on the other side. Ready? Here we go. That's one. Two, three, so now it's that quad on the right leg that's working. And the hip flexors on the left leg. Almost there. Let's get about five more of those. Five, four, three, two, Nicely done. So this next exercise involves a hop squat, which we've already done, but this one is also going to have your feet coming in together and going out. So in addition to that explosive movement, we're now working a lot of inner and outer thighs. You should feel a good burn in the hips. And once again, we'll get the heart rate up a little bit. So I'll demonstrate a couple before we get started. So my feet are a little wider than normal and I'm gonna squat down. And then from here, I'm gonna hop and bring the feet in together. Then I'm squatting again. So this is what it looks like. Again, I'm not doing a huge jump. My feet are just barely coming off the ground. And a wide squat and a narrow squat is one rep. We're gonna do 15 repetitions. Are you ready? And here we go. Four, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. Nice burn. Okay, so. Our last exercise is called hurdlers, or it's sometimes referred to as mountain climbers. You want to think of being in a sprinter's starting position, so your hands are down, and you're going to have one foot back, the other foot forward, both knees stay inside your arms, and the beginning movement is going to involve bringing the back leg forward and the other leg back. Now. If this is a challenge enough, this is the pace that you can go at. A more advanced movement is to switch them both at the same time. I'll leave it up to you which one you want to do. We're going to do 15 repetitions and just to clarify, that's one rep. Are we ready? 15 reps. Starts now. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. Okay, so that's the end of our dynamic workout on day five. Tomorrow, day six, it's all about core. See you then.